students welcome to geeks for geeks so the next video is on circuit switching versus packet switching okay this is a uh, computer networks concept now let's have a look on what exactly is circuit switching and what is a packet switching and what is the difference between this uh, circuit and a packet switching okay so in this video i am going to explain you what exactly the circuit switching means so before trying to understand the difference between them first try to have a knowledge on what exactly the terms are what is the circuit switching and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using the circuit switching okay if the people are trying to work on the circuit switching so they have to know what exactly the advantage and disadvantages and then what is a packet switching so in the packet switching there are different types of packet switching will be there one is a connection oriented and another is a connection less packet switching so if you if you talk about the connection oriented the example for this is a virtual uh, connection and the connection less packet is a datagram packets okay so the ad, and then the advantages and disadvantages of using the packet switching and finally we will cover what exactly the difference between the circuit and packet switching so if you try to understand all these concepts then definitely you will get the difference automatically okay so first try to learn the concept now what is circuit switching okay so you all know that switching switching means changing from one play one to another okay it is a mechanism which exchanges the information between dif different networks if two networks are there it is trying to change the uh, information okay a switching is a mechanism which exchanges the information between a different networks so then what is a circuit switching a circuit switching is a switching technique where end to end connection established before sending a data this is a main concept that you need to understand okay uh, it's a main difference between packet and the circuit pa in the circuit switching there should be an end to end connection so this is a sender and here this is the receiver a sender and the receiver are there so there should be an end to end connection established so here one router or the system it this will be there so here the data is going to be transferred whatever the direction it wants it will go transfer the data okay so starting itself starting itself an end to end connection established before sending the data before trying to send the data first try to establish a connection so now i want to go in this direction so try to establish a connection before sending the data once the connection is established now send the packets over the network send the packets over the network this is a circuit switching a circuit switching means it is a switching technique where end to end connection established before sending the data so the circuit switching technology is mainly used in telecommunication network in the telecommunication network this circuit switching will be used why suppose if you are working on a uh, telephone call so first of all the connection is established whenever the connection is established then only the data is transferred so the data will be transferred to that particular person so without losing the data and without the delay so the data has to be sent to the uh, from sender to the receiver so in the telecommunication networks this circuit switching technology is going to be used it is referred to as a connection oriented network so we generally used to call the circuit switching is a connection oriented i am saying the connection oriented means a connection has to be established before sending the data so this is a connection oriented network suppose if the transmission is in progress let us take the transmission is in uh, progress the other users has to wait until the connection is active in circuit switching a fixed bandwidth will be used a fixed bandwidth the bandwidth will not be changed dynamically it is a fixed bandwidth one of the popular example of circuit switching is a telephone system network that is what i am saying so whenever the uh, you are making a call to your friend so a call has to be established before you are sending a data right so in that cases a circuit switching technology is going to be used a circuit switching consisting of three different phases for sending a data what are the three different phases one is first try to establish a connection once the connection is established data is transferred after transferring the data connection is released simple example a phone call 
simple example is a phone call so you are dialing a number so whenever you dial a number connection is established so a call is going to be connected to your friend whenever the call is connected a data is transferring so you are talking and he he or she is talking so a data is transferring over the call so whenever the call is over the connection has to be released disconnecting so whenever your phone is your putting off your phone okay so you are ending your call the connection is released so this is a uh, circuit switching phases connection established data transfer and the connection released so see this diagram this these are the different systems the sender and the receiver let's take so these are the switching nodes are present in between the sender and the uh, receiver so wherever the first suppose this system wants to send the data to the send, uh, to this system okay so first try to establish the connection before sending the data it first try to establish the connection after establishing the connection it try to transfer the data okay a data is going to be transferred so whenever the data is transferred the connection is released okay so now let's have a look on what are the advantages of using this circuit switching so you know you got an idea what exactly the circuit switching is a connection has to be established before sending your data so end to end connection has to be established so advantages is a dedicated transmission channel is established between the computers which gives a guaranteed data that is what i am saying before sending the data we are trying to make a, a dedicated path so whenever there is a dedicated path the sender is having a uh, and the receiver will have a good confirmation that our data will have uh, will be received without any disturbance okay a dedicated transmission channel is established so uh, once once a dedicated channel is established means no other uh, traffic uh, congestions will be occur due to dedicated channel there is no delay of data transmission once a channel is dedicated to in between you and me so there is no uh, delay of data transmission uh, directly my data is going to be transferred to you there is no loss of packets and pay, packets don't go out of order that is what i am saying there is there is no loss of data whenever the dedicated channel is there there is no loss of data it gives a realistic voice communication so that's why the tele telephone communications or uh, network is trying to use a circuit switching technology because it is like realistic voice communication so you had seen so many advantages in circuit switching then what are the disadvantages in this more time is required to establish a connection obviously because if you want a dedicated channel you have to wait a more time is required to establish a connection suppose the line is so busy when you are trying to make a call to your friend sometimes it showing that the line is busy you get an engage something like it's a disturbance your call is not able to reach so this is means a traffic congestion is more so we have to wait a lot of time a more time is required to establish a connection and then for setting up a dedicated channel more bandwidth is required whenever you want a dedicated channel obviously the bandwidth has to be more if if the channel is dedicated it cannot allow to transmit other data even though it is free until your connection is released it is not allocated to the other person so this is what uh, one more disadvantage it cannot allow to transmit other data even though it is free it is not allowed until you disconnect it okay until you release the connection so these are the disadvantages even though advantages are there the disadvantages are it has to wait until the connection is established a more bandwidth is required okay a dedicated because of the dedicated channel it cannot allow to transmit other data so now let's have a look on packet switching so then what is this packet switching a packet switching is defined as a technique of transferring data in form of a packet to a particular network so here the packet switching means a data is going to be transferred in the form of a packets on a particular network so i am talking about a network a particular network not a dedicated channel i am talking about a particular network in a packet switching no initial connection is established before the call so no need to establish a connection because a dedicated channel it doesn't required so it, no need of initial connection so and the connection is used by many users 
that connection is also parallelly used by many users so it is mainly used for non real time scenarios of data and voice transmissions so it's better to use for non real time scenarios because the overlapping of data will be occurred okay because the, there is no dedicated channel so no initial connection is not established so you are just trying to put the packets over the network okay so it can choose whatever the channel it is free it the packets will go on that channel and finally it is reach will it will reach the destination so it's better to not use for the real time scenarios it's better to go for the non real time scenarios so packet switching technique will be used for non real time scenarios a packet switching network will send the data in small packets with the destination address so you will get a doubt okay our packets are sending randomly on different different channels so how the destination will reach uh, exact your packets only because a packet switching network will send the data in small packet with the destination address each packet is consisting of a destination address so by seeing that destination address it will reach that uh, destination okay each packet may take different route to reach the destination that is what i said <laughs> it may take a different path one packet will go in one direction another packet will go with choose another route okay in all packets will reach the destination the same destination because each packet is uh, attached with the destination address many users can use the same network at a time so if number of users increases then what happened there will be a delay in delivery of packets to the destination obviously if the congestion is more a delay will be there to reach the packets uh, to the destination here bandwidth will be allocated dynamically packet switching networks were designed to overcome the weakness of the circuit switching network since circuit switching networks were not very effective for small messages okay so see here uh, in this diagram you can clearly see this uh, this is sorry this is system a and the system b and these are the receiver okay system a is want to send the packet p1 and p2 and system b is sending the packet p3 so p1 packet so one packet is going in this direction okay this direction and another packet is going in this direction and finally it reaches the destination how because each packet is attached with the destination address okay so here this p3 p3 is going in this direction and reach the destination okay so what do you understand here a packet switching is does not having any dedicated channel there is no initial uh, setup connection is there okay the packets will go randomly in different directions in the, wherever the congestion is free okay there is no network congestion it choose that this uh, route and it will reach the destination the different types of packet switching or one is a connection oriented packet switching another is a connection less packet switching connection oriented packet switching what do you mean by this connection oriented packet switching the example for connection oriented is a virtual circuit packet virtual circuit packet in virtual circuit all packets pass through a logical connection which follows the same path through a network the one point that you have to be remember that connection oriented connection oriented here packet switching means all the packets will follow the same path through a network the packets will not distribute it through different different uh, channels so all packets are following on the same path through a network suppose if there is a large amount of information so large amount of information is there then divided into n packets and follow the temporary path through the network even though big message is they try to divide the uh, information into packets but these packets will follow the temporary path through the network therefore data sent in packets follow the same path created and it is shared to the other users also okay this is what happening here see here in this example this is a data a data is divided into packets okay a packets are all going in the same network a same network a packets are not distributed here okay all are going in the same network this is a connection oriented so the virtual packet switching is a connection oriented packet switching 
Now, what about the connectionless packet switching? The example for connectionless packet switching is data gram packet switch network. That is a virtual circuit and this is a connection less means data gram packet switch network. There is no fixed path for transmission. Whereas in the virtual, there is a fixed path. A connection oriented packet switching is having the, whenever the connection oriented is there, a fixer should be there. But connection less means there is no fixed path for transmission. For sending a data gram packets from dynamic root increase, uh, from dynamic root routes increases the performance of the data transmission. So see here, my data is divided into a packets. One, two, three, four, four packets are there. So three one is going in direction, two is going in this direction, and four is going in this direction. Again, one is coming in this direction, it's going and reaching the destination. Three is going in this direction, reach the destination. Four is coming in this direction and reach the destination. Two is coming in this direction and reach the destination. So all the packets are distributed over the network and finally they reach the destination because every packet is connected with the uh, having the destination address. Okay, so this is a datagram packet switching connection less. Virtual means connection oriented datagram packet switching technology is a connection less packet switching. Then what are the advantages of using the connection packet switching? Packet switching is cheaper than other switching technologies and it uses overall bandwidth network in efficient manner and it is very useful for high data transmissions. Whenever the high data transmissions are there, better to use the packet switching. Then what about the disadvantages? There is a possibility of packet getting out of order because all the packets are distributed over the network. So there may be a uh, possibility of packets getting out of order. There can be a transmission delay. Whenever the traffic congestion is more, there may be a transmission delay. Packets will reach the destination delay. Packets are to be sequenced to identify missing ones also. All the packets should be in a sequence manner. The first packet, second packet, third packet. So that it uh, it easily identifies the missing ones. So, but here the packets are to be sequenced to identify missing ones. Uh, they are not come in a sequence manner, right? Because wherever the congestion is less, the packets will reach the destination first. So these are the disadvantages here. Now let's have a look on the difference between the circuit switching and the packet switching. Circuit switching is a switching technique where end-to-end -end connection established before sending a data. That is what a dedicated channel has to be there. End-to-end -end connection. In packet switching, the data will be divided into small parts called as a packets and each packet is sent to the destination on different channels and finally all packets reach the destination so no dedicated channel is there no dedicated channel and circuit switching uses the fixed bandwidth whereas a packet switching uses more bandwidth because multiple sources can transfer the packets in circuit switching uniform path is followed whereas in the packet switching there is no uniform has to be followed and coming to circuit switching, circuit switching is not suitable for duplex connections, whereas a packet switching can be allowed for the duplex connections. So this is the difference between the circuit and packet switching. So this is what we had learned. So what exactly the circuit switching is and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using circuit switching and what is a packet switching and what are the types of the packet switching, connection oriented and connection less packet switching and advantages and disadvantages of packet switching and finally we'll learn the difference between the circuit and the packet switch. So I hope you understand the concept of what exactly this switching technology is, right? So still if you are facing any problem, please let me know. Thank you.